and today I'm going to give you a review on the Muck Stick Curlers version 2. Now these are awesome. I have done a review for you today so you can see what barrel does what curl and what they're used for and what it looks like. So then that way you don't have to go to the shops and try it. Um, so stick around and have a look at that. Um, and we're going to go through each barrel and size and how cool they are. Now these barrels are titanium, so they are quite gentle on your hair. It locks in moisture, it's anti-frizz. So it does a really, really great job doing your curls on your clients. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is use a setting lotion. I use White Sands Firm Spray. Um, I think it's fantastic. I think it really, really holds the um, curls really well and your client will actually have long lasting curls throughout the night. So I really do believe in the foundations of your steps. These are our muck sticks. We've got a range of four different barrels, sizes and shapes and it comes along with our little wand. Um, it goes from 120 to 210 in temperature, so you can choose between 120, 150, 170, 190 and 210. Um, holding down the button to turn it on and you can just tap it to whatever one you want. Now it's flashing because I don't have the stick on it um, and then if you want to hold it down again, that turns it off. So the flashing is just warning you that you haven't got the stick on yet. And if it keeps on flashing, it just means that you haven't pushed the stick on properly. Um, you do have four holes in the handle and you have four prongs on the, um, on the stick. So you got one, two, three, four, and then together they just hook in. So I'll just pop them together. You see it says push and you can just push it down. So if I press it now, you can see that now I can change it to different stages and the blue light will just keep telling me what temperature I can choose. Grabbing your first section and I'm just gonna show you what Big Tong does. Now the big one, what I find is you do have to kind of twist your elbow a little bit and just wrap it around a stick going down. This will give you more of a ribbon curl um, effect and having the glove on your hand, you can really push that hair down onto the stick. So I've got it on 210 at the moment. So you can see I'm just holding the stick pretty much upside down, waiting five seconds, because it is on its hottest, and then I'll slide the hair right out. You can use your tail comb just to loosen up the roots just while it's cooling, so then that way you don't get too much sticking out. So that gives you your ribbon effect for the big, biggest wand in the box. Now what I do like about the ribbon effect of this biggest wand is back in the day they used to have um, a very round, circular, massive barrel. And that was, that was great, but I did find that the curls didn't last very well. So what they've done now is they've made it more of an oval shape, so it's flat, but it is also round. So it does give it a similar effect as the GHD curls, but it is a lot quicker. You're not flicking your wrist, and um, yeah, it definitely does give you a similar result, but just a little bit more of a curl on the ends rather than the straight and giving it more of a straighter feel. So let's move on to the next barrel. And just be mindful that when you do take it off, make sure you're wearing your glove because it is quite hot and all you have to do is push the push button and pull it off. So I'm just gonna leave that on a towel. So let's get the next one. So this one's the next one down. This one would be my favorite. Um, it's the second one to the left. Um, and again, we just have to snap it into position. And you can see that just snapped in nicely. I can push it up to 210. I can move the dial down if I want to, but we'll stay on 210 because it's the hottest. Now I use this size a lot. I use this for your vintage curls, um, your um, waves, Victoria's Secret look, because it's really, really nice to brush out. Um, so it wraps around beautifully and having the thinner end just down the bottom, it gives it quite a nice touch once you've brushed it out. So I just do it just like a set roller and then I just slide it out and same with the other side. Now this does give you that whole Shirley Temple look, but remember once you've done the whole head, it's cooled down, it's set 
once brushed out this will give you that nice um, Victoria's Secret wave so you can see how tight that looks on the on the curl but then once we brush that out that will give you a really nice wave so that one is my favorite and you can see how fast this is just um, heated up like I just put that on and you know 30 seconds later it's already hot so and that's what you want when you're working on set or with a client for a wedding you don't want to be waiting around for it to heat up so hold down the button for it to turn off press the two push push buttons together and hold the handle tight up the top and pull the only thing that I would say is they can be hard to get off so just be careful not to burn yourself if you are changing quickly but other than that um, it is an awesome design so let's go on to the third barrel so this one is very similar to the first barrel that we used um, it will give you more root lift because it's thicker up the top and thinner on the bottom but it does have that oval shape as well so let's give that one a go in our next section while that's heating up And I'm just going to do it the same way I did the last one, just to give you an idea on how it will actually fall. Um, so I'll do this one um, as a set roller and then pull it out. And I'll do the next one like we did the first one. So what you can see difference here is root lift or no root lift. So you can see I've dragged it there. So it does a really nice wave on a dragged root lift and it does a beautiful root lift if I do it as a set. But again, if I was to comb this out, this actually falls quite nice and nice as a ribbon as well. So quite nice. It is a lot looser, but it's not as loose as the bottom one. You can see how loose that one is compared to the top one here. So we'll just try that one again, so then that way you can see as we're getting higher. Just then that way you can have a look to see how it will actually comb out. So let's change it now to the last one. So this one is all one size, so it's a perfectly round barrel. Um, you don't have anything bigger or smaller at either end. So we'll just try this one and you can see that the, dif the difference between this one and the others as well. So again, 210 degrees. And again, I'm just gonna do it like a set roller just so you've got some root lift. Hold it nice with your hand. This glove is really good for that. I'm definitely not burning myself at all. I can feel the heat. Once the heat starts getting quite warm through my gloves, then I know it's definitely been on long enough. So at the moment, my rod's still heating up. So it's just started to get hot. And then I'll just release after five seconds. And so you can see you've got your perfectly round curl. And that is a really nice traditional curl. So you can see how beautiful these curls have come through. This curl would be beautiful up in a um, curled ponytail curled bun you can see that the curls there it's not too big it's not too small it's actually a really nice ringletty type curl and really nice if you want to give your hair some body you can even just comb that out if you'd like as well so there are the muck sticks I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it's really helped you make a decision for what you would like to have in your hairdressing kit um, I do personally absolutely love these muck sticks um, pros and cons the pros, oh, it's full of pros, so many pros for a hairdresser. Um, I love the four different barrels. I love how they've really stepped up and they've changed the angles of each barrel to make it suitable for different curls. That is awesome. Um, I also love the swivel cord so it's nicer on the wrist. Um, I love the, the silkiness on the actual handle through here so it's quite nice on your hand while you're working, nice grip. I love how it gives you a warning flash if your barrel isn't on properly so if you pop your barrel on you haven't pushed it down all of these will flash blue saying hey I can't heat you up because you haven't clicked it on properly that is a really cool safety uh, feature um, the cons I would probably have to say it's really really hard to pull the um, 
the barrels off if you're changing in the middle of a hairstyle. But hey, who does change in the middle of a hairstyle really unless you're really going for a way crazy look? Um, but in saying that, it's not hard, it's not rocket science, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty okay to take the barrels off the handle. Um, I would just say it's just a little bit hard if a barrel's hot, so just be careful not to burn yourself. But then again, they did give you a glove and the glove works amazing. I love the glove. Um, it's a really, really nice freebie that they've thrown in with it. And um, overall, I would highly recommend these muck sticks to any of you out there doing hair at home or as a hairdresser or hairstylist. These retail for $169.95 Australian dollars at Hair House Warehouse. Um, you may be able to get it cheaper online. Um, I'm not too sure, I haven't looked around. But in saying that, $169.95 isn't a bad price considering you get four different barrels and um, it's really, really easy to put in your case for your next client. So I would definitely give this, considering I've got some cons, there's not really that many cons in these ones. I would definitely give this one a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love the muck sticks. I would definitely buy these in a heartbeat if I needed to. But um, till then, we'll see if version three comes out and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.